It has the real glory. It has the real strength, the fame, and the fortune for this life and the hereafter that cannot be found in any other system or way of seeking it through dark arts or shaitan. And then you have to lead them out of the falsehood that you had led them to, or you have to take the glory and glamour out of what you had shown them of magic. It is a responsibility. You do not take the testimony of faith again after being involved in that and then wash your hands of all those who are also lost? Impossible. You owe an obligation to them. And it is for this reason that you must, after taking the testimony of faith again, in the case of a Muslim that went into that, or if they've taken the testimony for the first time, as they had come from a background where they were merely kuffar, be they Jews, Christians, or what other false religion, you have an obligation to now guide those who are also lost in the darkness of idolatry and Satanism and to bring them back from the brink to faith. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has promised that He will save them. In closing, I will say, if someone looks at magic, the parlor tricks, and the cheap jokes of shaitan, how could they ever compare them with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Who would want to leave the revelation of the one who spoke to three million people at Mount Sinai, revealed the Qur'an, and sent prophetic messages and guides to humanity down through the ages to hundreds of thousands of prophets who opened the sea for the children of Israel to walk through, who sent numerous signs down through the ages up until now. Who would want to trade that for the paltry designs, tricks, and illusions that shaitan could promise. Indeed, think about this. Tell those that you know that could be considering or admiring magic to think about it. Protect yourselves. Protect your families with the verses of Allah. Ayatul Kursi, the 255th ayah of Surah Al-Baqarah. Very effective. The last three surahs of the Qur'an and as well as the fact of Surah Al-Fatiha as well. These are healing from the revelation of Allah. They are a protection. And shaitan has no authority when revelation is recited and brought in his midst. With that said, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he has mercy on us. And we end with a prayer. O oh Allah, guide us to preaching this faith to those lost in the sin of magic who are being destroyed or are destroying their family or other loved ones. We ask you, Allah, that you protect us from shaitan and protect us from submitting to his wiles and you keep us focused on your revelation. Allah, we ask you that you protect our children, our nephews, our nieces, those close to us who could fall prey to his attacks. O oh Allah, we ask you that you give us strength in an age of darkness where magic, dark arts, and falsehood are rampant and that we hold the standard, the banner of the Shahada high above the heads and exalt it over every other falsehood that seeks to stand against your name. We ask that we use the Qur'an as the medicine that you have revealed it to be, treating the ill and spiritually disturbed and depraved. We ask Allah for mercy. We ask Allah for His help.
And may Allah send peace and blessings on his messenger, the final prophet, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, on his family, on his companions. Ameen ya arhamir rahimin.